You know, it's written in the good book that whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Well, you know, Emerson said that was the law of laws. And he said, if that law didn't exist, we should invent it. I'm Bob Proctor, and I want to talk to you about the law of compensation. I first learned the law of compensation from Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale explained it probably better than anywhere I've ever read it. Now, I've read Emerson's essay on compensation. And we, of course, have the Law of Compensation here in this Working with the Law series. But the Law of Compensation is a law that we must understand. And we must understand it if we're going to apply it. And when we do apply it, we're going to find that the universe is very friendly towards us. The Law of Compensation is based on three steps. The amount of money or good you receive is going to be in direct ratio to the need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing you. I want you to think about that for a moment. The amount of money or the good you receive in life is going to be based on just three points. The need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there will be in replacing you. You see, I quickly learned that there is a phenomenal need for what we do in our business. People are confused. People do not understand the laws. People are, are watching to what's going on in the world. We're dealing in a very fast-changing world. We're not dealing, the world's not getting bigger, the world's getting smaller. We're, we're dealing in a world market today. You're only just a touch of a button away from anywhere in the world. We can look and watch what's going on on the opposite side of the world on a television set that's strapped to our wrist the size of a watch. Hit a button today and we send a message to a million people all at once and they get it wherever they are with email. Think of how the world has changed. It's changing so dramatically. And you know what it's looking for? It's looking for effective people. That's right. Everybody wants someone to serve them. Now think, is there a need for what you do? I would suggest there probably is. There's probably a great need for what you do. And you didn't even have to do anything to create that need. It's there. If we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more.